Hi there, welcome back to another Angle UK and in this video I'm going to be fitting a rudder to the Triumph 13. Now in my last video somebody made a comment that perhaps it would be a good idea to fit a rudder because of the tendency for these kayaks to corkscrew a little bit. I've had this kayak for about two years and I've used it quite a lot. In a strong side wind you can find yourself paddling four strokes on one side and one on the other just to keep it in line. But the kayak does have some very good channels underneath to aid the tracking. I don't think this has been any worse than other kayaks that I've had. Uh, but I do think fitting the rudder is going to make a difference. So it's going to make a good kayak even better. So I've bought the Perception Triumph 13 rudder kit. Now I know you can get cheaper kits online, but what I wanted was something that designed would definitely fit. It came along with all the parts um, and we knew that it would be a good job rather than having to adapt things from a universal kit. So that's what we're going to fit today and we'll see how we get on with it. Right, let's open the box and see what's inside. So we'll just carefully run the knife down here. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Detailed instructions. I like that. They look good. We've got the actual rudder and the brackets. Stainless steel pin there. It looks like we've got the two um, pedal kits. I don't have the pedals fitted on this kayak, so that, that's going to be an improvement. We've got some piping. I think we've got about four bits of that. And we've got some accessories here, nuts, bolts, uh, stickies, things for the downhaul, I think that is. So that's looking interesting. So quite nicely, um, it lists out exactly what we've got, but it also goes tools you require to fit the rudder kit. So we need some drill bits, uh, a drill with a three, five and a six mil bits, short Phillips screwdriver, adjustable spanner or pair of pliers, tape measure, Allen key that's supplied with the rudder it says, marker pen, wire cutters, lighter and a small amount of sticky tape. Read the instructions carefully before fitting. So I'll just go out to the garage and get some of these tools and be back with you in a minute. I've got my drill charged up, lighter, adjustable spanner, the wire cutters, tape measure, Phillips screwdriver, measuring pen, and then the drill bits. So there's a six, a five, and a three. And I've also put this tiny little one on just so that we can drill any pilot holes and stop the drill bit wandering off a bit. I think it's quite critical to get the holes absolutely center in, in wherever you're working. Let's check out those instructions and see what we've got to do next. So the first thing we've got to do is drill the holes in the rear of the kayak. There's two, one either side, and also um, along the side where you sit and where the footrests are. And I think that's um, kind of just behind the handles. So uh, we need to work out where we're going to put those. So it actually tells us exactly where to put them in here. Now on my kayak, there's a kind of recess just here, which is probably part of the molding. Uh, and I've just put a mark on this side where I want to drill. I've also unhooked the drain plug because I wasn't sure if poking a drill bit down here was going to get close to this drain plug. So I've drilled a, a very small pilot hole with my small drill. This is the 3mm drill that I've got in now, 3mm drill bit. If you're not careful, this will catch on your, your kayak. So when you're drilling, you're not going to be making a mark on the kayak there. We've got these two holes here that we'll take through. We'll do just the first one here for you to listen to. That's the first one. 
and the next one. So that's the three mil holes in there. We now need to just go and open those up a little bit with our six mil. I'll just double check that in the instructions. Don't want to go too big. Yeah, double check the instructions and it wants me to use the six mil to just enlarge these. Do you know what? It's so scary drilling holes in your kayak. I think that's the rear ones done. Let's go and do the ones at the front by the pedals. Now the front entry is coming in just in this recess, just in the corner of that flat bit. So that's actually just inside here and the same on this other side. Now, when I tried drilling that hole the first time, the, um, the three mil uh, drill bit has a tendency to wander off a bit. So uh, I did actually use uh, one of these very fine ones here, which I think is about 1.5. And it just gives you a little bit of a starter so the drill bit doesn't wander off. So we've been through with the three mil, we just now need to open that up to six mil. Now made myself four holes in the kayak. There's one either side on the flat bits in the corner, at the front here. The foot rests will be going on this flat side, I imagine. And we've got the two entry points at the rear. Right, the rudder pin goes in here. So let's look at the next step on the instructions, see what we're supposed to be doing. The next step is to, to fit these pedals with the controls into this recess here. Now, if you're lucky enough to have had pedals fitted that hopefully are in the right place, according to the instructions, the position of these footrests is really important. They need to be marked out at 215 millimeter along from the seating end of the recess. So that's 215 this way and 14 millimeters down. This is the drill holes I'm talking about. The drill hole needs to be 14 mil down and 215 in this direction. Uh, this seems to be like a, a measure it once, measure it twice, and then do it again two more times because if you don't get it right, if it's too low, this is going to catch on here. If you do it too high and there's too, too much clearance here, there won't be room behind here to get a washer on the back of the nut. I imagine we're going to have to take this out to get a hand in here to get round the back and take the front cover off to get a hand to the front one. In fact, there's three holes on this, so I'll just turn the camera off and I'm going to do some measuring. Measure it twice, twice again, or all that. Make sure it's all measured up and then we get some holes marked in. Leave me to it for a minute and I'll come back and I'll explain what I've been up to. It was at this point in the video that I realised I should sack the sound engineer for not turning the microphone on. Anyway, here goes with the voiceover. What I'm explaining here is that by using a tape measure as suggested, you probably can't get the most accurate of measurements. So I used a steel rule marked off in millimetres which I think gave me a much better measure. I also used a fine pencil, sharp point on it, rather than my marker pen, which seemed to give you quite a big area. You will see here I've also used a piece of masking tape that I attached to the kayak, and that just allows you to make your measurements and marks. And if you get it wrong, just pull your masking tape off and start again. So here we are measuring out the 215 millimeters in this direction. That was the easy bit. But just here you'll see I'm demonstrating the edge of that kayak has got a curve on it. So it wasn't so easy to measure that precise 14 mil down. 
I used two steel rules and I used one as the level from the top to get my orientation on the flat part of the kayak and made the drop down at 14 millimeters. Here I'm explaining that you can see the hole in that footrest and I'm just making sure that it lines up with the mark that I made and that the footrest doesn't catch on the grooves in that kayak. So reading the instructions here it says that the rails have been supplied with the screws, washers and nuts pre-attached. Not in my case they haven't. All the bits came in the plastic bag. So we've got the nuts, they've like got a little cap on the top of them, uh, the screws, the bolts here, um, the washers, and there are some little rubber washers, which six of those, so they go on the inside here. Uh, they're self-adhesive, they go on the inside just to get a bit of cushioning going on here. I've also figured that the central access hole here isn't the way you get at it you need to go in through the front you can't actually get your elbow round and if you did i've got a feeling i wouldn't get my elbow back out again and nobody's at home today so i'll be stuck with the kayak on my wrist for the rest of the day so i'm going to assemble these together i put the rubber washers on the backs put the first um, screw they call it a screw but it's a bolt that will go through and uh, we'll be onto here and just checking that everything is going to be the right side. Yeah, it just misses there. I think we've got it first go. We don't get two chances, do you, really? Now, to get your little rubber washers on, the easiest way to line them up directly with the hole, I think, is to put the, put the screw in first and then thread this down. And then the self-adhesive just sticks it down on there. That just makes it good. That's the wrong way around, but that just that'll just make it good for going on here. Okay, so I've, I've managed to get half a turn on the nut. You've got to really reach in here to get to it. So it is doable, but it, it's it's quite a long stretch. These are the, these two are the furthest away. These are these are closer. These are not going to require much uh, contortion at all. But that's quite a hard one. I'm right-handed, so I actually found this one a bit easier to get in, installed to begin with. Just getting that first turn on the nut, on the thread, and then once you've got that, you can spin it. And then definitely advise, get yourself a, a ring spanner. I think using an open-ender or an adjustable would be a bit of a pain there. That just snugs on quite nicely and gives you a chance then to tighten things up this side. So I've just got to fit, drill four more holes fit the other four. I've made sure that these runners actually slide so we know we've got things in the right place, they're not catching. Yeah, I think we're getting there. Now here's something I found, the, the drill. I've got this fitting on here and it gets right in the way. Now it's all siliconed on with sealant and stuff so I don't really want to take that off. But I remembered in the garage where it's one of these little contraptions which I bought from the middle aisle of one of those German supermarkets. See, they always come in handy. And what that's gonna do is allow me to take the drill in this direction and just put a 90 degree bend in things. The other thing that's worth noting is if you've got quite a long drill bit, particularly at this end, Take it easy. The last thing you want to do is zoom straight through and end up with a mark or worse still, make an hole on the outside of your kayak. So we've got the bolt in there. We're just doing the middle one here. Just got to do these other two down here. That'll come in handy on that side as well. Okay, that's our, our pedals installed. They slide up and down quite nicely. Pleased with that. On to the next step. Step four was putting the tiptoe controls up the front there. Step five is to attach the rudder assembly, so that's this, onto the back here. I've realized though that there's a step 4A and it's really important and you can't complete this job without it. Bloody important this. So we need to get the pin in here and then I think we'll be into 
threading cables through. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be fun. But we're getting there. I think we've done all the drilling for now. Right, I'm going to enjoy this. Step five is about attaching the rudder assembly and the control lines is step six. So we use an Allen key provided with the kit and I've got that just here. It says loosen the small grub screw. You just see a grub screw here and you've got to pull 10 centimeters of cable through. So we'll just nip that up. I don't want to go too hard on it. And you do the same on the other side as well. So we'll just nip that up. The next bit, this control line here, the thin one that we've got, needs to be threaded through this section. There's four of these, okay? And then slide the control line through here and then get this end all the way up onto here. Then you've got to get the control line inside here and it talks about using the drill bit so that if you get the kayak up on its end, the drill bit will take the give the weight to take the um, the line through and then you can grab it from the center hatch. I'll see how I get on doing it exactly as the instructions and I've got an idea to use a bit of MIG welding wire at some point to actually thread it through a handle. The line has got to come through here and if you remember I said that I found it very difficult to get my hand up through from here up to here to, to actually sort of thread a line through here. Some kayaks have got a hatch on the back here, like a, a five inch circular hatch and that might have been an easier way of getting in. But I don't want to drill a big hole in there just to, to fit this. Perception seem to think you can do it without drilling any more holes. So we'll see how we get on with that. I threaded the control line through the thicker plastic and you'll see there's a, a little ring around the end here. I think that's actually going to fit into the housing to stop it going all the way through. So they say push this all the way to the, the wing here. And then the next thing will be to thread the control line through the hole here, attach a, a drill bit to it and then thread it through. And I think the drill bit provides the weight to take it through the hole. That's how I get on with that. According to Perception's instructions, we've got three mil drill bit. I've put a little bit of insulating tape on it uh, just to hold the cord to the drill bit and that just gets threaded through there. And hopefully appears at the other end. So I'm probably gonna have to lift the kayak up keep the rear up in the air and keep this side facing the ground and give it a shake so that that drill bit goes all the way down inside and ends up somewhere near the front. Here's a quick tip for you. This plastic I found was really tight on this six mil hole here. And they say it's gonna be tight. So what I did was get the six mil out and I just made sure that the six mil went in there cleanly. I don't know if there was a bit of swarf meant that it wouldn't catch, but this one didn't wanna go in to begin with. So I took the cable out, gave it a jiggle around with the six mil, and now that's going in there and it's a really tight fit. So, uh, and they say in the instructions, definitely a tight fit. Just worth noting, before you start threading the line through, just make sure that the, the plastic will actually fit in there. It is a tight fit, is that? So what I thought was gonna be an absolute mare has proven okay. Believe it or not, this three mil drill trick actually works. You have to give the kayak a damn good shake at the far end there. The other thing, and I'll try and put a bit of footage in, I put the phone inside to try and show you, but where the scuppers go through, you, you wanna make sure that your line comes on the outside and it's gotta pass through this handle here. So if you look down inside the boat, you just see that cable. What you've gotta make sure is that it doesn't go around the scuppers in the wrong direction. So it needs to go the outside of the scuppers. Otherwise you're going to introduce more friction. Getting it through the handle, I found that actually I could get my elbow through this way. I just can't get up to these. So by going in here, I was able to just get the drill bit in here and thread the, ca the cable and it dropped out. And now I've passed it through this end. When I was picking the kayak up and giving it a good shake, the first cable I put through, I, I tied off. Because I thought, wouldn't that just be a pain to give you a kick, a shake, and the cable comes out. So the next thing we've got to do is 
the same on this end with these guys. So the next thing to do is, is fit these and they should just guide and come through the handle. I'm going to thread those through, both of those, and then it's a matter of tying these off and setting them on the control pedals. And then we're on to the uphaul and downhaul on the rudder. So I'm going to crack on. I've got my control line, threaded it through this, and I'm, I'm keeping this nice and tight because that will the, the inner cord will guide this one up through here because they're actually quite long. So that's going to go back there somewhere. So if you keep it nice and tight, it definitely goes through the inside of that handle. It is it is quite hard to, to push this in. It's a good tight fit. So I'll do the other side just, just the same. According to the instructions, pull this tight. It comes through a little hole on the front of the pedal here and then comes through a groove. It goes around this side, comes through here and up to a hole in the runner. And then I think you pull the tension through, pull your tension through and tie a knot four centimeters past the last hole in the footrest rail. So here's the last hole here four centimeters so we just need a knot in here cords are attached yeah I think that's okay just operating the pedals here next thing we need to do is fit the up and down hole fit in so we've got four of these and they each go in these little recesses here so they're already marked out you can see the arrangement here uh, we've also got these and I think they fit in the middle here somewhere just on the cords so we'll have to have a look how all this works so I'll get the fittings on take the two up hole lines in the middle of the rudder head and thread them forward through these fittings okay make sure that the rope on the right right inside the kayak is fed through the bottom half of the fittings and the left hand rope goes through the top and the rope shouldn't cross over which they don't then it says pull the bottom rope so this will be the bottom rope to make the rudder go into its active down position I think the bottom rope brings it up and the top rope so the left hand rope brings it down so I'm not sure if that's a misprint anyway we're going to go ahead and fit things up and see how things go slide one of the oval toggles onto this rope that's pulling on the bottom ball towards the front deck fitting and tie a knot seven centimeters before the front deck fitting. On, um, on section 11 I think it is, it talks about what you're doing here with these up holes and down holes, okay. The top one for me is the left hand side and that pulls it down, so that's the down hole. So this has got a sort of big end and a small end. So I think what you need to do is put the cable through this way okay so that a knot can end up in there I can tell you I've been challenged by this and then there's a piece of bungee cord and I think the bungee cord will go through here and that will go through this end here so with a knot on there so that will keep everything under tension so you'll have your two toggles moving up and down so you pull a toggle this way it'll go up Pull the other toggle the following way and it gets down. So yeah, just in case anyone was wondering where Channel Dog is, she's hiding underneath here out of the sun. She's come to help anyway. So the top line is the downhaul. Your, your cable from the rudder passes through the small eye and comes to the big, comes out through the big end. You tie a knot about seven centimeters from here. Uh, that means that when you're in the down position, this toggle doesn't hit this. And then you do the same with this end. Uh, and again, making sure that doesn't hit here. So these you're up and you're down. The bungee cord here just keeps everything nice and taut. Uh, the instructions are saying now clip this off and get your cigarette lighter just to burn the end so it doesn't fray. So yeah, I don't know if you can see, but you've got your up hole and your down hole and I think 
it said you could adjust something to stop that really giving it a big slam when it goes there the last bit of the jigsaw this is the thing that holds it in place when you're going along so this needs to be um, fixed in here I'm just double checking whether it needs to go in that direction or whether it goes that way round so I'll have a good look at the instructions see if I can see that uh, that should just loop round and hold it all in place for transport so as far as I can tell it doesn't really make a, a great deal of difference um, as to whether you have the screw outboard or inboard um, for me it just looks a little bit neater just gonna change this round a bit square things up so I think it looks a little bit neater just there and you've just got this loop that goes over hooks underneath the rudder and that just stops it flicking around for when you're transporting now there's a screw somewhere that um, means that you can adjust how far down this rudder actually sits here because what you don't want is slamming on top of the kayak all the time final bit of fitting here was adjusting this there's a kind of rubber stop here it's held in by two bolts here screw heads and it's got two nuts on here 10 mil nuts and slackening those off there's like a slot in here so you can raise this up so that the the rudder doesn't smash on the bottom of the boat each time you do the uphaul otherwise it's like a guillotine bang all the time now I found that this is a bit in the way of getting a screwdriver in it just you can get the screwdriver in and hold things quite nicely whilst with the other hand using your 10 mil on the nuts and tighten it up doesn't need to be over tight just just nip them up so that's there we've got the the uh, bungee on that just holds all that in place for transit there was also two square bits of plastic that were in the kit and I don't know maybe I've misread it but I didn't see anything in the instructions to say pop those in there and that's the only place I can see they fit they just sort of get in the end here somewhere probably need to be trimming off some of this at the end here I'm going to take it out for sea trials first before I start chopping too much line off so that is the rudder kit I hope you found that helpful and the final task of the day another coffee so that's my rudder kit pleased with that it wasn't half as difficult as I thought it was going to be threading the lines through so if you follow the instructions with that three mil drill bit make sure you avoid the scuppers and things and it should work out just fine for you some people will say well you've got your your anchor trolley on the wrong side not for me I, I'm right-handed and I do prefer this to be on the right hand side it doesn't really interfere with these lines yeah I suppose you, you know you could have put it on the other side but the rudder has been the last bit I've been fitting so um, yeah hope you found that helpful yeah I think we nailed it so uh, thanks for coming along on this little video Triumph 13 Perception Rudder Kit sorted okay so it's bye from me and a tail wag from Dee she's cleared off somewhere I don't know where she's gone but she has been helping underneath the boat snoozing away all afternoon so um, yeah that's where she's been okay see you now bye